Hello, Dr. Noob here again. So today I would like to tell you how you can upgrade the Corgi engine. Um, for more mountains, the guys who or the guy who is doing um, the Corgi engine, he recommends to import it to a new project. But I know that life is not always um, as kind with you that you can start with a new Corgi engine in a new project. So here I tell you how you can upgrade it. Okay, so how do we do that? First of all, the most important thing that you need to check is that um, here under the Corgi engine, which is where everything will be downloaded, that you don't have your own scripts. Um, a big issue you can do, or uh, sorry, a big error you can do is, let's say you have this health uh, script in here and you go in there and change anything in the code. So let's say you want to have a new, um, I don't know, a new method or you have a new variable or you want to do your own logic. Please don't touch that in this directory. Uh, create your own scripts folder and um, and make sure that you inherit from this Corgi engine scripts. I have a tutorial about how to do that and I'm sure I will cover something similar later. Anyhow, that's point number one. So now that you have made sure that the Corgi engine is um, containing only the Corgi engine scripts, then you can go here to window and you can go to the package manager and make sure that under packages and my assets that you go in there and see uh, your Corgi engine version. So at the moment um, I am by 7.6 and he's telling me something about an update. So you click on update and he should be upgrading it. So now you see we have 8.0. Uh, in case you have maybe missed it, it's um, when you have this arrow means you need to download it or you have the possibility to download it. And if there is an arrow up, it means that a newer version of this package is available. Uh, that was uh, shown before, but I forgot to mention that. Anyhow, now I'm able to import the software. Um, you should not do that at the moment. You should make sure to first delete this folder. That's why you need also to make sure that you don't have any scripts in there. So, inshallah, Let's delete that thing. So, well, um, yes, now we need 
need to import the package. Good. Now you are able to import everything that you want to import. Um, sometimes it's not wise to import everything, but in my case I decided I will go full with it. Even the project settings, which um, can be a little bit tricky, but I will import everything. So now it looks imported. So we have here the Corgi engine and well, everything looks good. Um, yeah, let's try that because um, just maybe a warning. It could be that some of those objects are not valid anymore for some reason. Let's try it out. Can we game that game? Oh yes, perfect, good. It looks like everything is working again. Great. Good, then um, let's wrap that. Don't forget, whenever you do something for your game, make a separate folder and put all those scripts in there so that you can upgrade it. And make sure that you have the newest version and then you can upgrade it. And please do not forget, it doesn't make sense to upgrade every time. Sometimes it makes sense if there is a new feature you were waiting for, but it's a lot of work. And if you are doing, let's say a simple game and you are already happy with the Corgi engine version that you have, then please stay with that. So that's it for it today. Thank you very much and see you next time. Cheers.